Today's video, we're gonna leave the big city of Bangkok. We're going on a two night getaway. About 48 hours, we'll be right back here. We're going to an island that uh, we love a lot, Haley and I. We haven't been there all year. And I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what everything that we do costs while we're down there. It's gonna be a pretty chill trip, but what is a two night getaway when you wanna fly down to an island and have a little fun in the sun cost these days in Thailand? We're gonna find out. As long as Haley agrees. Haley, will you uh, do this? I do agree. And what's the first thing that we're gonna spend our money on? I guess we gotta get a taxi to go to Sunabu. Tip for you, if you're ever in a cab and they do take the tollways, then uh, make sure you got some small bills on you because you got to pay. It's no scam. You got to pay the bills uh, at the tollways when you're in a taxi. cap I love it got my new Thai driver's license and one of the main reasons I got it was so that I could fly on domestic flights without taking my passport man I've been living here for years before deciding to do that I would highly recommend it so we are at the Bangkok Air Lounge they have a sandwich they have a little muffin we have a little Thai tree and there is a pastry Orange juice, tea, coffee, and water. Best thing about it, it's free. So I got a sandwich and a potato massaman puff. And as Haley said, all free. One of the privileges of flying Bangkok Air. Now, you might guess where we're heading now, just by the fact that we're on Bangkok Air, because it's a pretty expensive local airline. Those flights were 2,650 baht each one way. And that's with the Samui resident card. Little tip for those Samui residents, if you rent a 12 month lease, if your visa's out of Samui, you can get a Samui resident card from Bangkok Airways. And that gets you basically 50% off flights to and in and out of the island. So usually it's like 4,900 baht, 5,500 baht, but we paid 2,650 each one way. I could fly almost anywhere else from Bangkok for cheaper, so the resident card is actually a huge deal. One of the reasons we're heading to Samui is to renew the resident card, but that's not all we're going there to do. We're like on a 45 minute flight and we got like a full meal. What do they got? Chicken, they said. Also, all free. How does it taste, Haley? Oh, oh, it's pretty good, actually. Good job, Bangkok Air. So when you arrive at Samui Airport, things already just feel good. The air is cleaner than Bangkok. And ocean breeze, it's so nice and balmy and nice. So we've paid for the flights to get here, but we gotta pay for a vehicle to get us zipping around this little island. Pong. Yep. You got a car? Yes, it's my color. We got a little compact Vios here. Mm. Pong, I didn't ask how much is this? Uh, 1,000 baht per day. If someone wants to rent a car from you, can they rent? Yes, can. How yeah. do they contact you? Uh, we have a WhatsApp number. So just the WhatsApp number. So you could get this same service, Pong, ready yes. to meet you at the airport. 1,000 baht a day. Thank yes. you, man. Always welcome a pleasure. Car, welcome, car. The hotel that we booked at and that I want to give you a tour of is called uh, Yu Samui. I've heard it's really nice. Uh, we will give you a tour, tell you the price. Ooh, nice. 
Wow, it's huge. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Look at the view. Whoa, Whoa look at this seating area. Wow. <laughs> look at this bathtub. <laughs> I'm definitely going in later. But not Oh, wow. So let's give them a full uh, resort tour, room tour with Price later. But we're back on Samui. Chaggy, should we go out and uh, do some stuff in the island? Oh, yeah. So we just came out of here, Bangkok Airways. I'm very hungry. Let's go eat at the restaurant. So this is the Bangkok Airways office on Samui that's not in uh, the airport. And as a point of reference, it's uh, right beside Bangkok Hospital, the big hospital here. And then just a, a few hundred, maybe a hundred meters that way on the right side. Best Isan food in Samui by far. So I've, I'm coming to the source of the smoke here. And the source of the smoke is this lady. She's cooking up. What looks like, I, I, I don't know if it's if it's some sort of mackerel fish. She's salting that up. She's got the classic Isan fried chicken. I ordered some grilled pork neck. Like I said, the hospital's just literally right there, 100 meters that way. If you want to find this place, look for this sign. Look for the smoke just billowing out. Come in, grab a table. Everything that they got in here is amazing. Look down, we got, well, this is just the garnishes over here. We got som tam, delicious, komu yang. We got the, the sausage, I'll t explain that. And look at this, this is some special rice. Special isan, crispy barbecued sticky rice. This on its own has a unique kind of tang to it. Juice it right up, oh, look at that. This is the best sauce. Mmm. This one is deep fried, but I actually prefer grilled one, but deep fried is always good. Oh, it's so good. Som tam, Thai. Mmm. Oh yeah, you could order som tam with any meal. And if you're like us, and a little bit, you know, weak when it comes to the intense Thai flavors. Order some tam Thai. And um, you could say one chili, nung mat, or two chilies, song mat. I know how to say that now. Sam noi jet sip ha. 375, so 10 bucks. Buy Ran Cafe Amazon Gin Cafe Latte Yen. Chai ka. Anyways, lunch, amazing, 375 baht. Add that to the uh, expense list and add it to your list of places that you have to visit when you're on Samui. After smashing down a lunch like that, there's only one thing that I want to do. I got up early today and I didn't have coffee before my flight, so we're going to pop right in here. This is, that, that's hot. Oh, never been to this place before. And I'll say 70 baht, not bad. Cause this is like high end quality, independent coffee shop, super friendly staff. So that's about a pretty good price, better than I expected. Could have got it cheaper, Cafe Amazon, but this is way better than that. So there's Haley. We've uh, bumped into some friends here. We're gonna cross the busy street. And uh, this is gonna require a small expenditure. A small expenditure that we must log in the expenditure book. So let's cross here. Go over to the fruit stand. But I'm not looking for fruit. So what do you got? Have beer? Have beer? Uh, Leo Song Leo Go Nam Plow Nung Kuak Crap. 
they're laughing at my tie. She's laughing. Look at over here. He thinks it's hilarious. Nungnoi isipat. Top and cap. Okay. 120 baht. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Eves, what do you do here on Samui? I do the private charter for scuba diving and uh, marine park, kotao, snorkeling, free diving, uh, everything you like. Anything to do with water? And what's your name? Oscar. Oscar, what are you doing here? I'm uh, learning to be a dive master. Oh, you got a new dive master. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, so Oscar, take take us for a tour through. I want to yeah. see how uh, what what Oscar knows. This is called the Water Speak Scuba or Thai Scuba. Um, we have our little lounge area. We do our studying here when we get new courses. Here we have Eve's little uh, hut or office. Yes, we have our wetsuits, our wetsuits, and our regulators. And uh, this is all thanks to Eve. So what would you recommend if someone was going on a dive, they're on a trip here in Samui and they want to go on, a, on an epic dive, where would you take them? Sail rock, 100%. A good day, you might see some whale sharks. We got puffer fish, turtles, and any fish you can ever think of that would live in the south southeast of Asia. Thanks. Okay. Good to meet you. I got I got a cold beer we got to get to. So you're looking to book a dive charter here? Contact the Water Speak Scuba. And who knows, maybe Oscar will take you out to Sail Rock. So it's time to give you guys a full resort tour. But before I get started, check this out. <laughs> Haley's still in the tub, but yeah, Haley, <laughs> there's no water in there. Oh, I don't care. The view is good, and I'm going to go in the pool right now. So let's just go right into the resort tour. You got Haley's bathtub. You got this beautiful, big, big balcony looking right out over. This is Bang Rack Beach. Now let's check out inside this place. You saw a bit of this earlier, but this place is designed nicely. Big, big seating area with your TV. Call that the living room. There's the bedroom. There has been a nap taken. <laughs> and then when you go around to this corner, it's like four quadrants. This is like the closet slash office quadrant. And then this is the bathroom. So let's just walk you through the place. We're up on the fourth floor, but we're back down here. This is the reception area. Oh, I see a little gym over here. Some nice orchids. I'd call this place a bit of a boutique resort, like pretty small. It's four stories. You can only build so high on the beach in Samui. There's the restaurant and bar. We'll get a look at the nice beach bar. Beautiful. Oh, I can't get down there. It's a big pool. And then here's a place that you'd probably want to have some sunset beverages. Yeah, these two tables are your prime sunset spots. Seems to be family friendly for sure. Nice pool off in the distance. Don't know if you can see her, but that's Haley. Look, you found a nice little spot. It's so nice. Um, it's very cozy and friendly, and their staffs are so professional, and the general manager is very professional, and then I'm very excited for breakfast tomorrow morning. On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? Oh, it's a 10. Oh, a 10. Yeah. Haley gives easy scores. Yeah. <laughs> There's Haley frolicking in the pool. And here's the rest of the property. Nice grassy area. Look at this, coconut trees. There's a little family was chilling here. Then you get right out here in your beachfront. Bang Rack Pier, boats to and from Koh Phangan. Koh Phangan you can see off in the distance. Can you see it through the haze? The big island off in the distance, the hazy island, that's Koh Phangan. And here's Bang Rak Beach. We're kind of right in the heart of it, right in the center of it. A lot of nice beach restaurants. So it's a nice beach for walking, nice beach for chilling. There's a family doing some walking right now. Lovely. Wow, I love Samui. 
Okay, so there it is behind me. And for two nights at the Yusamui, well, the nightly price, I booked on Hotels.com. Uh, it's a site I use because I get the rewards points. Agoda often gets you cheaper rates here in Thailand. But anyway, 7500 baht a night. But classic hotel style, it said 7500 a night. And then when I clicked to book, the total bill came in something around 19000 So more like 9500 a night. I'm sure the comment section will light up with how much of a ripoff it is and, and how expensive it is and how uh, that, that sort of stuff. But hey, have at it. Go nuts in the comment section if, uh, if that's your bag. But we are happy. The room's huge, really beautiful, sea view. Uh, it's, a, it's an upgraded room. You can get rooms in here for cheaper. And you can get places all over Samui for cheaper. I got a buddy who's staying here right now in a hostel down in Lamai for like 330 baht a night. Are you done? I'm getting really, really hungry. And I know the place we want to go. Bombay soda with a uh, boyfriend. <laughs> we'll catch up with him later. This place has gotten crazy busy, which I love to see. We haven't been here in like five months. If you follow the channel, you know that uh, this this is my favorite spot on Koh Samui. But look at this. He opened up his new section back here. Check that out. Nutty. So we're ordering up a ton of food. We'll show you all the delicious food. This is a place that you gotta come. So what the hell happened, man? This place is popping off. Uh, because I have some patient guy, help me, help family, help my heart, help my life. This guy. <laughs> no, no, this has no everyone. This has nothing to do with me. This, has, this, this is nice to see. So this you busy every day. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. Everyone and, know Lisa now. Oh yes. Well, we're gonna get Lisa to come out. We'll let you. But but, but I can tell everyone. In the Chris YouTube, Lisa have baby now. <laughs> you have a baby. I don't know who Papa. <laughs> oh, is it a boy or yeah, is it a girl? Lady boy. <laughs> Pinang. We've got the uh, morning beef. glory. Tom Yam Kung. Oh, have a little yeah. drink of it. <laughs> drink of it. <laughs> it's not a. It's not a. We tell us how it tastes. Just have a little. Mm. <laughs> how often you eat here? I don't know. I want to say like two times a month. Uh, it's packed now. It's packed. Mm. I mean, you can, you need a reservation to get in the ums. You, know, you better book in advance. It's drinks, gins, beers, delicious Thai food. For how many of us are there? Five people. For a nice night in Samui. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting kisses blown our way, but we need to know how much this is. Three five four zero. Three five four zero. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know how much that is in U.S. dollars? Ninety-eight dollar. Ninety-eight dollars. Five wow. people drinking and eating all night yeah. long. Uh, the 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 guy Jeffy Jeffy drink too much. Mm-hmm. Good night, guys. Lisa say good night, ka. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> So 7-Eleven, I ended up, what did I get? Sour cream? Pringle. Pringles. 49 baht. <laughs> Add it to the tally. 7-Eleven's right behind me. If I turn around, Yu Samui is right behind me, and that's where we're going. I'm going to eat my damn Pringles and go to bed. Hello. It's morning, and we're following Haley to the breakfast. I don't usually eat breakfast, but I love a good resort breakfast. Looks cooked pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's well cooked and perfectly. And I'm gonna give the eggs Benedict like a six and a half out of 10. The bread that it was on, I like it on an English muffin. So I switched to like a cow tom. So this is like a uh, rice porridge. I got some ginger, some onions. I find at some of these places in Thailand, 
the western side of the breakfast isn't that great. I would say Melia down the street is like a nine five out of ten. They knock breakfast out of the park. Um, and then you got the local Thai hotels where they just serve up some kind of a, a tray full of sunny side up eggs, maybe some fruit and some like wonder bread. I'd put this right in between those two categories. Breakfast here isn't the highlight of the Yu Samui. You, if you're watching this, maybe you could up your breakfast game a little. Cap. So a couple of waters at 7-Eleven, and man, now I remember what well, you guys probably saw me in the 7-Eleven last night getting a damn tube of Pringles potato chips. That's what happens when you get a few... Oh, That's what happens when you get a few beers in ya. Anyways, on with the day. We are gonna have feast here. And I got kanom jim. It's kanom jim is this noodle. And with a curry flavor, two kinds of curry flavor. One is chicken, the other one is more like a vegetable. And then you put any vegetable you want, just cut it off and have some greens, put it on. And anything you want, topping, garnish, and mix and eat them. And then the key to Khao Khao Mu is this sour sauce. Oops. A little sour sauce. So Roy C. Sip Bot, that's 140 baht. In today's uh, currency landscape, that's about $4 for that entire lunch, including dessert, uh, including like more than we could eat. Yeah. What, 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 would you recommend that place? <laughs> oh, highly, highly. Uh, highly local. recommend. That's a local's favorite. Mm. When you're driving down the ring road here, you'll see the little watchtower hut on Soy Boon Road. That's lunch, and what do we do after lunch? One cup, one sip coffee reviews. Everyone knows the rules, one sip, gotta make a judgment here. We're here with, the, what's this place here? We got, this is Hachia, Hachia, ha, do you, how do you say that, Hachia? Hachia. So there you go, Haley knows this place. We're right here in Maine, um, I got myself a flat white. I love, I love flat whites. And every time I come out to this part of the island, I love flat whites. So here we go, one sip, everyone knows the rules. It doesn't, it's not as creamy. It's not as creamy of a flat white. I like I like the cream in my flat white. I like it when it creams. But I'll tell you, when I was in there, what you really want to come for, they got this thing called the affogato. They got Samui coconut ice cream. They put that in blend of espresso. They mix it together. I tell you, I, I, I think I think we got footage of that in there. I, I, I think I, we got some footage of that. When I ate that, that was straight boom, nine, nine. 9-9, nine, nine, straight 9-9. Nine, nine. If you, you, you're gonna want to travel here, get on your moped, get on your dirt bike, come here to where, it's Hatchia. That's a review. Sunset walk on the beach. This is yeah. this is free. <laughs> <laughs> What's your take on um, kind of the cost of a two-day getaway or a vacation on Samui? Words of wisdom for the fine people out there who might be visiting this island. You can spend a lot of money, 
obviously, but you can go a little bit less expensive or just the normal. Only thing is smoothie, the flight is a little bit expensive compared to other area in Thailand. Yeah, I guess that's the best advice for Samui. Know that this place can get very expensive very quickly. But if you know where to go, uh, then there's some amazing cheap local stuff to enjoy. So on that note, we're going to finish up this sunset walk, head back that way, and uh, go find some dinner. Just left the hotel. Haley, what do you feel like doing tonight? Oh, I'm so relaxed. Why don't we go locally? Oh, there's a place right there. A little local Thai place. And so we're gonna eat right here, this place called The Big Sister. And I'm just gonna put together a little, drop a little musical montage and show you the rest of our expenditures as we complete this little nice relaxing getaway. Hit it, DJ. good and it was nice to get out of Bangkok and we are home and I'm gonna have a shower. All right, Haley's gonna have a shower and uh, I'll wrap this up. The last expenditure was these takeaway samosas. You gotta try these things if you're ever down at Samui Airport. Surprisingly good Indian food. Shout out to Nuri. I guess the last expense was the cab driver. So what was the total tally? Let me put, there's the total cost. Pretty expensive. You could definitely do it for less. You could spend a lot more. I mean, Samui's got a Four Seasons. They got all kinds of expensive stuff. That, that, like many places in Thailand, is the tale of spend as much or as little as you like. You'll still have a good time. We had a great time and it was awesome. Drop a comment with your favorite place for a two-day getaway in the whole country of Thailand. I'd love to hear. Cheers.